Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host for the evening, Sarani. Thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome back to the party show. What did you guys think of the first episode? Whoa! 200 views on YouTube. Yes. Yeah, not too shabby. Not too bad for first try. Thank you. Um, I'm going to try another monologue. Try to do a little better than the first one. You ready? Yeah. Anybody watching CNN? Anybody? Everybody? Yes? Do you guys hear that uh, little teeny tiny bit of weed? You can get away with it now everywhere. It's decriminalized. You can just have weed now. And that's all CNN f***ing cares about. <laughs> weed, weed, weed. You can cook with it. You can, you can power your cars with it. You can do whatever you want with it now. We knew this. Go home, CNN. You're drunk. <laughs> Miley Cyrus and Justin Bieber are collabing on a song called Twerk because of course they are. <laughs> the song features rapper Little Twist, He's featured at the end of the song. The little twist in the song is uh, Justin Bieber is actually straight. <laughs> a South Carolina couple was caught having sex in a Home Depot this week. Yes, yes that's amazing. I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. They actually got caught in the gardening section. <laughs> Which I think is the most romantic thing ever. It's they're like a modern day Adam and Eve. I love it. I love it. I'm touched. I'm touched. Uh, apparently, they were looking for a new shower. It wasn't me. Then they saw the kitchen counters. It wasn't me. Just when they thought it was over. It wasn't me. The Mexicans came over. It wasn't me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We should start a band. We should start the party show band. You guys are awesome for that. Thank you. Everybody get out their phones and uh, get on Twitter. And I want you to tweet me, at Slurany. Hashtag the party show. Hashtag is that weird. I want to know the weirdest thing you've ever done. Whoever has the weirdest tweet by the end of the night, we're going to come up and we're going to talk about how weird you are. Um, we have an awesome show for you guys tonight. Uh, Abby Denton, winner of Last Comic Standing, is here. Yeah. Hilarious. Right. She's so funny. Before You is our musical guest. Yeah. Sweet. Amazing. Right. Yeah. And Rob Johnston from Vine is yeah. here. Yeah. We'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. That was some good pizza. Yes. Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to bring out our featured comic. She was a finalist in Pittsburgh's last comic standing. She beat me. So everybody please welcome Abby Denton. Yes. Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for having me here. I have an announcement on behalf of the management. There is no cause for alarm provided you are wearing lion proof suits. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to worry anyone. There, that was obviously a joke. There are, no, there are no mountain lions in the house. Thank you, thank you very much. It's been a pretty good, pretty good uh, couple of weeks for me. I, I am having my dramatic debut. I have the title role in the Vagina Monologues. Thank you, and possibly no one else. Yeah, it's just a big foam rubber Godzilla suit. I'm attacking a big cardboard city. Thank you, thank you. No, that's obviously that was a joke. But I have, I have, I have finally told my boyfriend about uh, my schoolgirl fantasy. Um, you, you know the one where you sit alone at lunch, stress over math, and feel ashamed of your body. <laughs> We're doing that role-playing thing where he's the guy in my third period English class who doesn't know my name and never says a word to me, and he's really getting into it. <laughs> I haven't heard from him in weeks. No, that's, see, people sometimes don't really understand where I'm coming from. Um, I think a good analogy is uh, everyone loves swimming because swimming is just like flying except you're constantly in danger of suffocating. <laughs> And similarly, everyone loves kinky sex because it's just like normal sex, except you're constantly in danger of suffocating. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, they, they say that a girl's relationship with her dad uh, defines sort of everything that happens to her in her relationships with men for the rest of her life. And I think that's definitely true because every man I've ever dated has ended up forgetting my birthday and trying to sleep with my mother. <laughs> I kid, I kid. No, someone told, told me the other day that I'm, I'm the spitting image of my mother and I, I smacked him in the face because you shouldn't talk about someone's mom that way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little vulgar tonight. I've been searching for most of my life trying to find the one fart joke that's never been told before. <laughs> but this too is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I'm a little immature. A lady told me I was too immature to be doing comedy. I looked her in the face and I said, lady, I'm a grown up and I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was good. That was good. Abby, you might be funnier than me, but I have nicer boobs, so. All right, we're gonna come right back with Rob Johnson. Yeah. I was at a stoplight the other day, right? And there's this homeless man just hawking roses, Boring. just probably because you won't support him in his day-to-day -day life. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the story going? Where the booty at? Where the booty at? I tell you where the booty at. Rudy Tootie Sear and he's booty. That's what I'm talking about. Bro. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. What about the 15 pounds she's put on since that music video? She's crazy. She's too skinny. Not my type. You guys are crazy. She's too skinny. Not my type. You guys are crazy. She's too skinny. Not my type. You guys are crazy. She's too skinny. Not my type. She's too skinny. Not my type. You guys are crazy. She's too skinny. Not my type. You guys are crazy. She's too skinny. Not my type. You guys are crazy. She's too skinny. Our next guest, guys, you've seen him on WPXI Pittsburgh. You've seen him on Vine every day. Awesome dude, so hilarious. Let's welcome Rob Johnston. Uh, yeah, they're nice so much better than last time. Good looking. Yes, very beautiful. Welcome, Rob. How are you tonight? Great. Thanks for having me. This is, uh, this is overwhelming. Pretty weird. Right? I love it. It's great. <laughs> Give me a little history about your, um, your life here in Pittsburgh. You've had a pretty wild life. I've watched you since I was a little girl. I was. Oh. Not, like, not little. Not like that little. Not that I'm little. I'm old. That's what she's saying. No, I... I remember when you were in Featherlight, and I was getting drunk in parking lots um, going to, to see To shows. the music. Yeah. yeah, to the music of <laughs> Featherlight and The Switch. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, that's back in the day. That is, mm -hmm. that's, that's unbelievable. It was I, that long ago. Yes, huh? I was 15, and um, I think I was, a, what, like eighth grade? No, now we weren't getting you drunk at the parking lot. Let's no. make this very oh, clear. Oh, no, I she was, was doing that. I was doing, drinking the Fruitopia yeah. and Vladimir. Making horrible decisions to the tune of Rob Johnston. <laughs> that was my this is, shit. I this love is how it. that goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did music for a long time, and, and I, I love Pittsburgh. I'm glad to have my feet planted back in the greatest city on earth. Yeah! yeah. Pittsburgh! I, I knew they'd like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pittsburgh Wild Things. Yeah. It's so funny that, like, I, um, I remember you when I was that young because we actually went to the same high school. We did go to the same high school. But we never actually crossed paths. Even though the school... Because old. Because he's old. The school was this big. We would have known each other. But do you remember Mr. Kellner? I love Mr. Kellner. Me too. And he, he was our principal mm -hmm. at a very small private school here in Pittsburgh. And... Uh, such a great guy. So wise. Yes, so wise. <laughs> and he, would, he, he had this like particular laugh. Mm -hmm. he, he, would, he would like say something kind of snarky and then he'd go. <laughs> <laughs> and he yeah. had this like wild beard that came down here and, you, and, and every Christmas he would put jingle bells in it. He liked he was, jingle bells. He's like a Duck Dynasty hipster. He was like yes. having, rocking that. <laughs> That's he, exactly he was rocking that he beard was. before it was cool to rock that beard. He was the man, and I am very happy that I got to learn things from him. 
Anyways, uh, let's... I went fishing with him one time. What? Yeah. Did you catch because, anything? Because, our, well, our school was so small, it was like a hook and bullet class. And think about that now, like a bullet class? Like, mm -hmm. that was, it's ridiculous. Yeah, we had an uh, all-weather walking where we would just walk whatever it was doing outside. Yeah. We're like, we're going for a walk. Gym class was walking to Glenn's Custard. <laughs> so I've carried on that tradition uh, since high school. <laughs> Hey, exercise involves going to Glen's Coast. So. Love that place. Yeah, that was that was some good memories. That was a weird place to go to school, though. <laughs> it prepared us for weird things like doing talk shows in basements. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So what are you up to now? What's going on with you? You are hilarious on Vine. Oh, that means a lot. Thank you. Um, I, just, I think you're hilarious. Oh, thank you. Well, that means a lot to me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, funny. Come on. Yeah, who knew? It is, it's been so weird. It is, when you say, Rob, you've seen him on Vine, it's a free phone application. Yeah, I mean, on your phone. Who, <laughs> it's been around for like six months at this point. And uh, who would have thunk? That Vine I, is this Yeah, it's it. huge, it's big, uh, you know, it's crazy to see how many people are, have launched careers for, in the last six months mm -hmm. doing really wacky six second videos. So for those who don't know, Vine, is, there, it is an app that allows you to record six second uh, videos and uh, they loop, six second loops. And, and it's kind of like Twitter in that you're limited to the amount of creativity you're allowed to have. You have 140 characters on Twitter, you have six seconds on Vine. So for me, it's just been trying to find really creative and weird ways to express myself in six seconds that I couldn't do uh, on the news or <laughs> and, and <he laughs> at Cheswick Christian Academy. And he kills it every time, every single time. He's yeah. got a, the best Vine. So, so what do you do on Vine? Um, I mostly, I'm annoying on Vine. I revine and talk about how I'm single. And uh, every time I find a creature in my house, I vine it. So the last big one was a spider about this big. Wait, wait how big? It was bigger than the fish you caught with Mr. Kellner. Good grief. Yes. That's probably true. <laughs> um, and it was streaming down my door frame. So I vined it, and then I crushed it, and then I <laughs> cried. That's that's entertainment. You know, I mean, you, and then you I know? sawed uncontrollably for two and a half seconds. Yeah. 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 You're not going to get that on your flip phone. Yeah. This, is, this is riveting. <laughs> um, so I follow you on Twitter and Vine, and like I said, I stalk you a little bit. So um, I see all these pictures of you with celebrities like Conan and Martin Short. And uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, I do entertainment reporting for uh, the NBC, NBC affiliate here in Pittsburgh. And I uh, get to meet a lot of really cool people like you mentioned. Some of those people you mentioned are my heroes. Uh, yeah. I would attribute a lot of what I do on Vine to physical comedians like Martin Short or Dick Van Dyke or uh, some of those guys who, who really paved the way. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that's like a huge deal. I love talking oh, to those people. Oh my gosh, people. not just for you. That's yeah. a huge deal to see the picture I, of you. I, I <laughs> love, yeah, I love it. And, and it's kind of this double-edged sword because I've met people and I think um, I and a lot of people put these people on pedestals. Mm -hmm. You think like, oh my gosh, they are like, like a more than humans. Mm -hmm. And then you meet them and you can sometimes be disappointed because they're, I mean, it's so cliche uh -huh. to say, but they're just like us, yeah. they're just like you. And usually they don't want to be doing, like they just don't want to be there. Ah. They'd rather be with their families. Yeah. They'd rather, who wants to talk to this chubby kid from Pittsburgh? Well, I understand, nah. trust me. Yeah. I've been on YouTube, okay? But, I understand. Yeah, and they can be pretty intimidating too, but I've, I've, I've had some people I've loved talking to. There's been some people that, um, that if I had the chance to talk to them again, I probably wouldn't want to. No? <laughs> well, you don't have to say. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what she's trying to say. Oh, uh, one more thing. I have one more question for you. Sure. And um, you can talk about this or not. You have a lot of haters on Vine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You have a lot of people who talk a lot of smack on you. Love and it. Yeah, you do. You love it? <laughs> I love it, too. I love reading the comments. It's it's. It's comical. It is. And you know, I think at first the mo it was really, really annoying to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I get called a tryhard all the time. Oh, and yeah. you know what's hilarious about that? Is that, yes, I'm trying very hard to do something in six and seconds. Look at him, like, and he's I'm killing it. Very hard. <laughs> um, I am a tryhard. And so I've embraced the tryhardedness of it. I mean, I, I get that daily. I'll post anything. Doesn't matter. I could literally be like looking into the camera and blow a bubble of bubble gum, and someone will say, <laughs> Try hard. Too hard. <laughs> you try too hard. It's just Vine, man. <laughs> um, so, you know, but I, I, get, I get that all the time. I get like, 
the, my, and so at first it was like kind of annoying because they'd be calling like horse teeth or like, hey, fatso. Like, uh, it's just like little troll kids, you know, yeah. like all the, all the YouTube people in here who write those things, you know what I'm talking, I'm talking to you guys. Um, <laughs> but the, but the, to me, that's the funniest thing is that, that you can't comment back. Mm -mm. And that's the annoying thing. It's not that they call, like my feelings are not going to be hurt by like an 11 year old being like, horse teeth, <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, but, <laughs> but the hardest part is not being like, you know, Firing back with some witty, right. what you think is witty. Mm -hmm. I did one time, and it, and it burned me pretty good, so yeah. I'll never do it again. Well, good. Good for you. <laughs> you try hard. Try hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I'm proud of you for not doing that, because I would be like, F you, it's F you, hard. F you, F you, suck a bag. <laughs> You're killing it on Vine. You're killing it on Twitter. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. That's Love it. So cool. Couldn't so um, we're going to bring out some of your old pals. You Some of my old pals. It's gonna be awkward. It is, yeah. I don't think I you think guys I owe have... Jed five dollars. Five. Five. Oh, I think actually he owes me five, so maybe we'll just call it even after they come out. <laughs> um, guys, welcome before you. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. See, you see. and you and all of you, not you, Brett. You sit down. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, oh, how's everybody doing? Thanks for coming over tonight. Are you guys comfortable? Do you have enough pillows? We're getting there. <laughs> it is a pillowy couch. It is. <clears throat> What's up, guys? You guys have been. Um... <laughs> everybody, take your time. Take as much time as you need. Yes. That, that's it. Oh, so this is it's the dude couch now. It is. So what's gross. going on, guys? What is, what's before you been been up to? <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, been kind of just sitting on our couch at home. We all live together, so we just kind of like sit on our couch. You guys all live in the same house? Except for Jed. Except for Jed. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only one. He's the only we do. one. <laughs> you guys, um, you guys all know each other, right? Yes. Yes. Tell me about some of the history with before you and Rob Johnston. I want to hear a little bit about it. Go ahead, Jed. Phil. Yes. Yeah, start where, where from the bottom. Start, uh, now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I played some bass uh, with Rob before. Yeah. Uh, with with Rob and Jed uh, in the Switch. Kids. Yeah. The Switch Kids, yeah. Switch Any Kids. Switch yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's always yeah. been the Switch. <laughs> Mom's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Phil played. Phil Iron on t-shirts. Jed, Jed, we've known each other for a little while. A little bit. Uh, we ran into each other uh, about... <laughs> They're cousins. 28 years ago. <laughs> this is my baby cousin, Jed. Woo! We, uh, we, we spent a lot of time on the road together. Jed played guitar in the band that I sang for called the Switch Kids. And... Uh, Toured full time for six years, and uh, and so it, our best years were spent then. Well, you were all out having fun in college well, you, yeah, and well, things. Yeah, well, you were getting drunk in parking lots. <laughs> we were sleeping in them. <laughs> we were sleeping in parking lots. Wow. <laughs> okay. That yes. 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 Yeah, sympathy. Yeah. Yes. 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 All of them there. Yes, we did. We're gonna roll a clip from my favorite one. You guys ready? And there's this girl, and she's like an eight. Like, she's. She's a what? She's an eight. An like eight? a solid eight. Yeah. A solid eight. Yeah. Let's check her out. An eight's a zero with a belt on. <laughs> Whoa. Woo! Where'd you find her? On the on Match.com, we made a fake account. <laughs> And uh, and she replied. She was our first reply, and uh, it was like 46 seconds after we set it up. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds desperate and sad and alone. She was good. She was the cutest one, though. Yeah. She was definitely the cutest one. Good for her. Yeah. You guys pay her? No. No. <laughs> In Fruitopia. She paid us. <laughs> Fruitopia and Vladimir. Wow. Is she available for any other work any at any other time? No, that was the peak of her career, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to do some songs now, right? <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thank you for having us. It was very kind of you. Oh, thank you Seriously. for coming. <laughs> 
guys are going to do a little ditty for us, right? What song is this? What song are we going to hear? Uh, it's a Phil? song that um, <laughs> it's going to be on our upcoming release, which is has no set date, so you might not hear it for a while, but uh, oh, okay. it's, a new, it's a new song. Is there a part for a girl in a music video in this new song? Yeah, that's what I want to know. We'll see. If, <laughs> we'll see. We're probably looking for a six because the eights are kind of drama queens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they're getting their own shows. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, party show? You guys having a good time? Yeah. We're going to read some tweets from my awesome audience. You guys ready? Yeah. We got Amber Tardcore says that she makes super, <laughs> super creepy faces in the mirror every time I use the restroom. Well, we're going we're gonna to hold you to that, Amber. Come on up. Yeah. <laughs> is, that your, is that your birth name, Amber Tardcore? No, I actually got Tardcore because I'm retarded and hardcore at the same time. So True that. Right. I'll, I believe you. You sold me. You sold me. All right, so it says here on Twitter that you make super creepy faces in the mirror every time you use the restroom. Can you Can you give us a little taste? Um, I can give you the Jeepers Creepers face. I cannot believe I'm about to release this in public. The first time. This is the premiere of the Jeepers Creepers face. Here we go. All right, guys, let's hear it for Amber. She's about to do, oh, yeah. Show the band. That's, that's done while she's pooping. There you go. Wow. <laughs> that is weird. Thanks, Amber. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. That's weird. What about you, Phil? What do you do that's weird? His dog just got her period. Yeah, my dog just did just get her period. That's, weird. Weird. that's pretty weird. Oh. Well, yeah, it's kind of normal, actually, in the animal it's kingdom. It's that you know that. It's that you're like, you're like, oh, here it comes. Actually, there it is. There it is. It's coming. Yeah. All right, beautiful, So we guys. have to put a, a diaper on her. I thought you were going to say you were going to put, put her put down. down. Yeah. Like, no, that's not like, that weird. What the hell is going on, you girl dog? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, poor yeah, so Finley. Bring it on. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, you ready? You guys ready? Yes. All right, this is it. Here's Before You. Call at 2 a.m. This one's a welcome walk down memory lane. That familiar place could use infinite additions. She knows that she has me hanging on her every word. I still haven't learned to resist engaging her. She wants me to be so miserable without her. She so happy it's the way my life's turned out she doesn't realize how crazy that sounds when she's staying at 1300 miles away in another town there's a willing me drown in her empty promises i should never talk to her again but she'd know that's an empty thread i could never live up to i never have and i don't plan to she knows that she has me hanging on her every word I still have it learned To resist engaging oh, her so She wants me to be so Miserable without her She's so happy It's the way my life's turned out She doesn't realize how crazy that sounds When she's staying at 1300 miles away in another town
been four years And this room still hasn't healed You just won't let it You've been filling my head with those very torturous words Unless you plan on coming home I think it's best if you just leave me alone To get on with this on my own She wants me to be so Thank you guys so much for checking us out again. Uh, give it up for Abby Denton. That was hilarious. Yes. Dude, how great was Before You? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rob, dude, thank you so much. Give it up for Rob Johnson. Yeah. That was such a cool show. Uh, that's it. That's the party show, guys. Thank you. Even though I stay away from cannabis like wild cloud uh, Vegan and no fry sex Similar to Christ Got divine reps, so tell me If you know you're going down I step uh, Show no mercy When bruising crews Get hit with more bricks than New uh, Jerusalem The riddle's confusing, fool Like Confucian rules uh, Most cats are more square than Rubik's Cube We spit raps that are totally murderous uh, The rhymes are like an anaconda serpent clutch So check out how these herbs get touched Unless your broad's giving us brains Nigga, you ain't serving us Digging and know Cunning linguists with stunning English Our true lies break more punks than Harry Rehnquist Harry Wheat With the best speech Roll with cats and smoke more trees Than the slash and burn technique Sex beats what? between bed sheets Red fleets, Pulp Fiction style Even your car with red seats We make like fly swatters and smash pads Put peeps under more pressure than a Kelly Price bed set These uh. bodies looking like samples uh -huh. from the Warshack test Ink blots So fuck around and get your steam rocks Jugs in the back with the bean cock This is crazy! She's too skinny. Not my type. Guess I'm crazy. She's too skinny. Not my type. Guess I'm crazy.